Hi, I'm Brittany and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how I write thank you in calligraphy. Okay, so the supplies you need are your watercolor paper. This is my Stonehenge. The Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press and it's 100% cotton. Um, this is what I would paint my cards on and then I would write my thank you just straight onto it. So I'm just going to practice on here. You can use any paper that will work for you. You need a pencil. This is just a Tombow 2B pencil. And then this is a calligraphy brush pen. It's the Tombow Fudenosuke. And it is the hard tip in black. And I prefer this one over the soft tip. It's just much easier to use and control. And then I'm going to also use a bigger uh, marker, a Tombow marker. This end is pointy and it's fatter than the other end. That's the end we'll be using. And then I also have these brushes that I got from Princeton. It's a lettering set and I have really liked them. My favorite one to use that is the Heritage Liner um, size 6 and that's this one right here. So I'll be using that today, but I recommend all these brushes. They're, they've been really great. Let's see if I can get that. So this size six liner brush is the one I'll be using to paint Thank You in watercolor. All right, so to get started, I'm just gonna first write out my Thank You in pencil and if you haven't done calligraphy at all, I highly recommend checking out Becca with the Happy Ever Crafter. She has wonderful tutorials and classes on how to do calligraphy. If you just want to learn how to write the word thank you and put it on a card, then just go ahead and watch this video and follow along with me. Now I'll just go ahead and write thank you in my cursive handwriting. I have a separate video on how I write the alphabet in calligraphy and I'll link to that below. Okay, so that's how I would write it out in pencil. And this is just written on a straight line. I'm going to take my Tombow Furunosuke hard tip pen and just trace over these letters. So I'm starting with hard pressure, pushing down, and then I lightly pull up and it will make a thin stroke. Thin stroke up, push down. Since I'm writing on a cold pressed paper, there's going to be some little spots that are um, kind of bumpy, don't fill in correctly, so I'll come back and fix those. Light pressure, down stroke, hard pressure, light pressure on up stroke, create my oval, hard pressure going down, light pressure up, hard pressure down, light pressure on the up stroke. Just always remember when you're going up, it would be light pressure, down, it's harder pressure. You should be good. Okay, don't come across my T. Come over to the U or the Y, but the word U. Okay, light pressure coming up, down stroke. We're going to wrap all the way around. Okay, now I'm going to write that one again over here, but this time I'm going to do it um, in a bouncy style, which means I'm going to bring this T down below the line and my H is going to go up higher. And you just kind of go back and forth, so higher, lower, higher, lower. So it's not stuck on this straight line. And it also helps because you don't have to be perfect, perfectly straight when you're writing it. So let's try that right here. So 
So my T will come below the line. And I'm going to connect my T to my H here. So I'm going to go like this. Good big loop. H comes here. I'm coming below here, but not as far below. My A is going to be up a little bit higher, not, not quite on this line. Okay, I'm going to bring it out here before I do the loop, just make it a little bit fancier. Come up, and I'm going to bring this below the line here. Let's see if I'm running out of room. I think I have room for the word you. Come up. Make our U big. I'm sorry, make the O. Go up higher. The U, I won't come down quite to the line, and then I will. So it's just a little bit bouncier, not straight across and boring like this one. So let's write that with our same pen. Downstroke, heavy pressure, upstroke is light. Now this one I'm going to start here and connect. So I'll go light, light pressure, light pressure all the way up, connect. Want my H to come up higher, a little bit below. It's my oval for the A. Get that a bit higher. Okay, so see how just by varying some of those heights, I kind of went every other. I went down here, up here, down here, up here, down, up, down. That's kind of my idea. And it just makes it a little more fun looking, bouncy looking. <laughs> and it also makes it so you don't have to be so perfect if you're writing this on a card. Okay, so that's with the Furunosuke pen. Let's try them again with, this time, um, I'll try it with our my larger Tombow pen. I'll do the bouncy style. And in fact, I might give myself some room and come down to this line. Okay, so we'll see how I do with this one. I don't usually use this one, but I wanted to show a, a larger size. So let's give it a whirl. Yeah, I can tell already it's tricky to keep those thinner lines thin on the upstrokes. We really got to go light on these with this one.
Okay, so yeah, that brush is a little bit trickier, but if you need a thicker font, um, it definitely does the job. Now I want to try it in watercolor. So I think I'll do that just down here. I'll write it first. So I know where I'm painting. Let's do the same thing as we did right there. All right, so since it's fall right now, I think I'll paint these in some pretty fall colors, starting with the really deep, bright red. I'm just picking up a very dark, deep, beautiful red. And I'll paint my T first. Down stroke is thick. So I'm really letting off the pressure on the up stroke. I'm going to transition right here to orange, so let me pick up some orange. Okay, now I've got orange on my brush. Oops, this is tricky. Down stroke. So that curve spot is really tricky. Okay, light on the up stroke, heavy on the down stroke. Light on that up stroke. Grab some yellow. Heavy on the down stroke. Light on the up stroke. Heavy. Light. Now let's go back to red, I think. Light up stroke on the curve. Push down as you come around that curve. Now when I write calligraphy and watercolor, I don't usually do the pencil first. So I hope this will erase after, but we'll see. Oops, I got a little heavy right here. Push down. That's how I would draw or write thank you on my thank you cards. And now I have a card over here and I will practice it right here. I'll put thank you in the middle of this card, probably with my um, Tom Bow pen. All right, so what I like to do is paint the full page of watercolor florals and I cut them up into the size sizes that I need. This is a four and a half by six and a half. And then I just put them on these five by seven craft cards. So whenever I need a card, I just have these ready to go. And this one I'll turn into a thank you card. So I'll just write the word thank you here. So I'm gonna be coming through all that line and I'll do the bouncy style that, that we practiced. Okay, so I've got my hard tip uh, brush pen, 
Tumbo pin. Just remove to go heavy on the downstroke, light pressure on the upstroke. So it's just as simple as that to change this generic card into a thank you card. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.